Good morning, Rebels. Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2016, and this is Rebel TV. Good morning, Rebels. My name is Kevin Gonzalez, and I am a senior here at Savannah High School. Would you please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Rebels. You may now be seated. Rebels, the Disneyland Resort is once again doing its Dreamers and Doers program. Two Savannah students were finalists last year. Check your school email for more information. Project Say stands for Project Supporting Anaheim's Youth. We try to provide them with the resources that they need in order to you know, get involved in the community and help them um, with any struggles that they have at home. The Anaheim Police Chief Youth Advisory Council is a group of students who come together to uh, recognize issues that are prevalent in our community, issues that are typically affecting us in a negative manner. And in turn, we do try to find solutions to those programs. And uh, this year, we tried creating an anti-bullying curriculum because we felt that that was an issue that was affecting us. Rebels, join us in a walk to celebrate our schools on Saturday, September 24th from 8 to noon at Anaheim High School. Here, parents, students, teachers, and staff will join as a community to celebrate and bring awareness of all the wonderful programs that are offered to our students and show our pride for our schools. Students, this is a great way to show your Rebel pride and to also earn community service hours. Complimentary breakfast and lunch will be served. Please stop by the Student Center to sign up and pick up a flyer. Attention, Fuente Junior Class. Just a reminder that we will be having a mandatory parent meeting for the Northern California trip on Friday, September 23rd in Room 3, from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. This is a very important meeting as we will be discussing our upcoming fundraising activities and logistics of our trip. Your attendance is very important, so please see Ms. Ruiz if you have any questions. The next scheduled day for the SAT is Saturday, November 5th, 2016. If you are planning to apply for any of the UCs, it is recommended that you take the subject test. For more information, see Ms. Dalkey in the Student Center. Rebels, on Thursday, September 28th, the American Music and Dramatic Academy will be visiting Savannah during fourth period. And on Friday, September 29th, FITM will be on campus during fourth period. If interested in hearing about AMDA and or FITM and what they offer and their establishments, sign up with Ms. Dockey in the Student Center. Attention Savannah drivers, you are required to have a parking permit for your car if you park in the Savannah parking lot. If you do not have a parking permit by Friday, September 23rd, it may be towed. Any fines or payment as a result of towing is the responsibility of the owner of the car. The permit keeps our campus safe from unidentified visitors and helps us identify any cars in need of help. Thank you. Step one, you say we need to talk He walks, you say sit down, it's just a talk He smiles politely back at you You stare politely right on through Some sort of window to your right As he goes left and you stay right
recommended for sophomores, juniors, and seniors with a 3.5 GPA. NHS applications are due by this Friday, September 23rd with a $10 application fee to, to room 902 to Ms. V or to any respective county member. This deadline will not be extended. Don't forget. Rebels, if you bought Krispy Kreme donuts from a member of the boys' volleyball team, they will be here this Friday, September 23rd in room 53 at lunch. Rebels are prepared. It's Attendance Awareness Month at Savannah. That means prepared Rebels are ready to school every day and on time. Attendance matters every day. Morning, it's me, Magic Johnson here. I won five NBA championships and Olympic gold medal. So I'm calling the shots today. Get up out of bed, into school, try hard, do well. School got me to where I am today. So be there every single day, and of course, give it your best shot. Rebels, come out and support varsity football. The Rebels will play their first away game at Costa Mesa High School against the Mustangs on their brand new field. Kickoff tonight is at 7 p.m. Come out and cheer on your Rebels. I'm here with senior Damien Perez, water polo captain. Damien, coming off two wins against Loera and Westminster, what are your thoughts on the team? Uh, we're just trying to stay humble. We come out here, practice hard every single day, and uh, we're just trying to get the wins for this year. I understand uh, last year wasn't really a good year for uh, water polo. What do you guys expect to improve on to get some wins this year? Uh, we're just trying to get more wins every single day. Um, our team is a lot better than we were last year, so yeah. Um, we had lots of freshmen and sophomores last year coming out for the first year of water polo. So this year they know what to expect more. The games that we play, they know what to, they know what like what we need to do and focus on. So. Okay, okay. As you guys start um, Orange League next week, what's the mindset? What are you guys' goals? We're just trying to get the wins. You know, um, we we stay focused out here. Our coach does a good job on uh, trying to get us prepared for the games. We we're out here doing. Uh, hundreds of yards every single day so we just keep our composure going you know just try to get the wins our um, second team captain Wesley Hunt doing a good job of helping us score and just all around team we're just uh, helping each other out trying to get the wins okay um, as you guys uh, for, for, for an individual standpoint what do you expect from yourself this season what I expect is just to just to keep our team going you know just um, just keep scoring goals, keep getting the wins, try to take us to the CIF, you know. Uh, if we don't get as far as we want to this year, you know, we just, we went out trying, you know. One, two, three, ready? As far as my family, I'm first generation Cuban American. My grandmother was a part of the, the Revolutionary War, quote unquote, in, uh, in Cuba when Castro took over. And when she seen what was going on there, and where basically the majority of the country made the wrong decision, they sent over my mother in an operation called Peter Pan, Pedro Pan. And then my father came over and basically what is uh, the lottery in Cuba. So there's a lot of history there. And de definitely very deeply rooted, very, I'm very proud of it. And that's why I appreciate every opportunity that, that this country has to, to offer. The greatest tradition I feel that we've been blessed with, uh, very proud, very, very proud, but more than anything, hard workers. And not only hard workers, strategic. It's always about building something. If you think about it, my name's Armando, and Armando in Spanish is to build. I think the greatest struggle that uh, my family had when they first came over to America, I would say the language barrier, and then just figuring out a whole new system. But they were very ambitious, very positive. All they would speak about is hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work. And they, they knew that this country, what it, what it had to offer was that you could control your own destiny, you had opportunity, and you had the number one thing which was, and which is, freedom. America is a place where you can write your own destiny. Barack Obama, you are absolutely right on the money. Yes, America is a place that you can write your own destiny. We're all immigrants at the end of the day, whether you're first, second, third, fourth, fifth generation. We all came here with a dream. We all came here wanting better for uh, our lives, our families' lives, and we just wanted to create something better. And we did, 
ask your grandmother some questions, ask your grandfather some questions, and really understand what your family came from for you to enjoy freedom, opportunity, and to write your own destiny. That's it for today, Rebels. Have a fabulous Friday.